Hi Aquarius, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. So Aquarius, this is for you. Jan 2023. Wow, happy new year to all of you by the way. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Give me a break. Okay, Fool, Two of Cups. Wow, interesting. Can I see what shows up? You can reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases as you know, right? Don't force a reading on your situation, right? Okay, so Aquarius, let's see what messages come through for you. Any specific person on your mind you're thinking about, you're dealing with, in your surroundings, anything and everything you need to know, right? So, any person of interest. What's happening with Aquarius? What do you need to know? What is your situation? Five of Pentacles. Aquarius feeling abandoned, cold, left out, expecting somebody. You might feel that, okay, uh, you were expecting somebody's support. Possibly this person did not show up. I'm picking up strong ego issues also. Queen of Cups. Oh, there's love. I see some history. I see some love. I see some romantic connection here. King and Queen of Cups. But then Emperor is showing me that somebody is adamant. Definitely an energy of feeling left out and cold. Somebody not responding. You here in your own reading, in your own side, in your own situation. Wow, that's good. Pretty, pretty good. Star energy. Feeling enriched with energy, with hope. Uh, a lot of positivity and healing. For some of you, I'm picking up that. There's a recovery happening. There's a lot of hope that things are going to settle. You are appearing quite positive here. Five of Wands. But somebody you're dealing with is going through a phase of conflict. Now, five and five, this is showing me that somebody is in super mental conflict here. This can be anything. Like, this can be actually a physical conflict also. Maybe this person is going through a phase where there's a lot of conflict in their surroundings. But for a lot of you, this is just opinion conflict or mental conflict that somebody is going through. You're definitely hoping that things are going to be get better, no doubt. But Five of Pentacles is showing me that... Okay, Five of Pentacles is showing me that the connection possibly right now is out and cold. Eight of Swords, uh, yeah, I see a lot of confusion. Feeling directionless. Are you overthinking? Are, are your thoughts blindfolding you, Aquarius? Is that the case? Moon, bottom of the deck. I do see there's some sort of um, confusion, right? Which is not letting you see the reality, see the things clearly. Uh, I do feel that Eight of Pentacles, your focus right now is uh, definitely on one aspect of your life. You might feel that, okay, I'm, I'm so confused now. Two eights, two fives. Look how cards are repeating, how the numbers are repeating here. I see here, Aquarius, Eight of Swords, Two Eight of Pentacles. Uh, there's a lot of um, discrepancy here. There's some things which are missing in between. Now, if you go by this, Eight of Swords blocked in your thoughts. Very unfocused, unclear energy. And to that severe contrast, we have Eight of Pentacles, which is very focused and dedicated and committed energy the the beads in between are missing the passion the eight of wands communication com that's missing eight of cups where you need to step back and think and ponder that's missing so for a lot of you i see you are somehow vibrating between two different contrasts here that you need to uh you know focus you need to bring back your focus on something Somebody here you're dealing with, this person is carefree. I feel they're making very carefree decisions. You might feel that this person is not keeping you in their mind when they're making a decision. Yeah, there is commitment on their mind. For a lot of you, this person is not thinking through. Then they're letting everything on the universe, on the destiny. They're not thinking through. Fool with the Hierophant is showing me that this person is definitely up for a commitment, a long-term partnership. Very dedicated and focused energy here. And uh, that's interesting how... How do you Okay, moving forward here, Nine of Cups. Quite positive energy from this person's end. For a lot of you, they have been through a severe mental conflict. And then their mindset is uh, becoming very clear that I don't care, I want to jump. No matter what, I want to jump. 
and this person is having commitment on their mind long term partnership on their mind nine of cups this happiness there's a wow okay wow this person is definitely happy to be around you the to the wish this person is carrying in the near future oh my god okay you might be struggling between a connection and a relationship now what i mean by that there is a new relationship heading towards you for a lot of you you might be focused on your home and your house and your you know the place where you live the stability of your life and then there comes a distraction this person is coming in as a distraction that that's hitting you hard it's going to be a love connection in the near future aquarius i see you're not looking in that direction but love comes from a place where you're not looking right from a place from the direction you're not looking at i see that wow this person has it on their mind they're not thinking about future they're not thinking about the consequences they just see a long term partnership with you when i say they're not looking about the future thinking about the future that means that this person is not concerned or they're not having any negative thoughts or they're not afraid of the risks that they might encounter in future right now they're just looking their future with you right looking at the future with you so that's something i'm picking up for you aquarius what else wow wow <laughs> oh boy this person is attracted to you they're waiting for a lot of you i see this person person is keeping patience in the near future you will also see that this person is patient and they want you to put in effort i see two uh distinctive energies here fire and earth this person is passionate about you and they're waiting for your response they're eagerly waiting for your response and they might not even i'm sorry might not even be completely able to wait and they might lose patience eventually and they're going to reach out to you with a lot of energy i do see they want to very passionate about you this person here is very attracted to you and they are eventually going to break the silence if you're not going to do that you have this partnership on your mind no doubt for a lot of you if you're thinking about a connection out in cold i see things definitely looking good for you yeah king of pentacles twice there is something surrounding money and stability here for a lot of you if you were struggling with some financial matters it's getting stabilized over time i see if you were out in cold in a connection things are like rapidly turning positive from total five of pentacles abandonment and crunch you're heading towards stability partnership and long term thing here wow interesting six of wands for a lot of you i'm picking up that you want attention you want somebody to acknowledge something you have some hopes uh, in in a situation aquarius you have a hope here you have a thought here and uh, wow okay what is this person feels rejected they are definitely for a lot of you you know this person has a very particular thing on their mind when it comes to partnership and commitment and uh, they're thinking that you know they're wondering if it's going to happen that way or not in the near future i see be careful of how you treat this person this person might assume that you're a little boastful you're a little ignorant so maybe you might find yourself in a position where the connection is strong the energy on both the parts is very positive but then you tend to ignore some things because your focus is somewhere else or you have something that you're working over and this person might feel bored and rejected or maybe you know they just feel it's not happening the way they want and then there's some disappointment surrounding <clears throat> you know for a lot of you i'm just picking up that this lack of communication if you ask me the connection the intensity of this whole situation is very strong the intentions are very strong but is there communication are you both uh talking about what you truly want because this person wants a commitment with you definitely this person is looking for a long term commitment with you but how serious are you about it eight of swords i see you have your own thoughts blocking you aquarius and for a lot of you the good news is that the some massive transfer these thoughts these energies are definitely leading to some massive transformation in your life four of wands showing up again and again yes and high priestess look at the major arcana here 
Aquarius, for a lot of you, Queen of Pentacles. I see King and Queen of Pentacles. For a lot of you, there is a partnership. There is a partnership. And there's a potential partnership, in fact. But the thing is here is, uh, that I'm picking up that your thoughts, your thought process needs a drastic transformation here. You need to open your blindfold and you need to focus on what your intuition is telling you. Because for a lot of you, I see you're getting blindfolded by illusions in your surroundings that you need to be very careful of. And that requires a serious turnaround. That requires a serious energy of uh, transformation that that's going to be something that is going to put you in tune with your intuition how you need to react and how you need to work out things here right wow okay so okay let me have um, this deck first right aquarius Advices and outcome for Aquarius in this whole situation. Advices and outcome for Aquarius in this whole situation. Ten of Wands. Now, I do see that uh, there is this thing weighing you down. Working too hard or too many hours. The need to balance life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. Now, you're overstressing, Aquarius. You're taking so much load. Nine of Wands. Your guards are high. You need to protect yourself and you need to protect what you've created in your life. Do not give up. Ask angels for help. Environmental activism is also showing up in this card though. So I'm getting here the energy where you guys need to lay down some of the burdens that you're carrying. For a lot of you, I'm picking up some burdens are definitely choking your vision. Eight of Swords is twice there on the table. There are some things which are choking your vision. Are you able to give up on it? That's the question. Come to the edge. Let down this burden that you carry. Just put it down. Come to the edge. See, see. you know, <laughs> for a lot of you, I see conversation is needed. You're thinking too much. You're overthinking, if that's the case, thinker. You need to lay down this burden, Aquarius. What else? No place like home. For a lot of you, I see you building stability, home. For a lot of you, your focus is to entirely on your relationship, your partnership, your house, your home. No place like home. Wow. Thinker. Thinker is not going away. Okay. So, what else? Observer. That's interesting. And we have clean it up. Aquarius, there's something that you need to clean. You need to... Um, for a lot of you, I'm getting here that these are your thoughts. You need to just focus your thoughts. You need to channel your thoughts here. That's not right. And uh, I'm going to have a few more cards for you, of course. Let's see what else is coming up for you. Anything and everything Aquarius needs to hear. Anything and everything Aquarius needs to hear. Anything and everything Aquarius needs to hear. We have sun. Wow. Happy, happy changes. Lock it. Like, if you are ready to let down something, it's like if you're ready to put down something, the baggages that you've been carrying, wow like look at the cards for a lot of you the conflict surrounds your thought process about something if you want to give somebody a chance i see this person is entirely ready for that lady that's wonderful lady okay are there two ladies or are there multiple people involved i see two ladies two kings here moon like star sun moon <laughs> the whole universe is here now, honestly, the whole universe is here conspiring, right? Are you? Are you receiving? Are you willing to receive Aquarius? That's the question because that's only going to happen if you cut out something. Can you see the sickle here? You need to, for a lot of you, it's like maybe your religious belief systems at the moment are hindering the growth in a situation. You need to cut something out. You need to detach yourself from something, Aquarius. That's, that's going to take you to the... You know, uh, the, f the path that universe has planned for you. You need to this, this, see this. Like, universe is conspiring here for you. You need to clean something up. Very interesting. I'm going to have one card from this deck too. I really enjoy this deck. So we have... Let's hear... Let's hear for Aquarius from this deck. Aquarius. Aquarius, I do see growth. This is my Empress card. Oh, I love you. These are powerful words. Somebody is having definitely having commitment on their mind. 
for a lot of you, you are the one conscious and you're the one thinking about what is happening here. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. For a lot of you, I see somebody is definitely having... Now, it's not just somebody, the specific person, but in general also in your connections. There's a basic need of for love and appreciation. If you want a connection to grow, you might uh, you know, have to surrender some things and some thoughts and some baggages so that you can give your 100%. Your give, you can give your you know, um, 100% energy for the growth in, in a situation, right? And um, we also have like attracts like. If you, if you long for more love, be more loving. I see there are some needs in this connection. You guys need to get to know each other better. What you expect from a connection, what this person expects from a connection. Yes, they have commitment on their mind, but you might be having some doubts. So you need to sit and talk about the doubts you're carrying instead of, you know, in, instead of uh, brushing away your requirements. You need to talk to somebody and tell somebody how you're feeling in a situation. And same goes other ways, right? Otherwise also, same goes for the other person also. I see a lot of communication is needed because this connection has a big potential, if that's the case. So I'm going to leave you here, Aquarius. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.